The Night Before New Year's by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Wormer. Was the last day of December, what we call New Year's Eve. A whole year had flown by. It was hard to believe. We were pretty excited. Our puppy was too. We cheered out with the old and in with the new. Oh, please, I begged. Can we stay up till midnight? For this one special evening, my parents told us. All right. So we drove to the store to buy party supplies. Hats, horns and poppers and sparkly bow ties. At home, we put up all the streamers and balloons, silver glitter and gold stars to twinkle up our rooms. A banner was hung by the ceiling with care in hopes that baby New Year soon would be there. We gathered for dinner a grand late night feast. All our family favorites. I ate three cupcakes, at least. With a clink of our glasses, we all gave a toast, making New Year's resolutions my dad had the most. But I couldn't come up with one single vow. That's okay, said Mom. You don't have to right now. After dinner was done, we played checkers and trades, then broke out the cards for a long game of spades. We shared fond memories. Oh, there were dozens. Holidays, camping trips, and new baby cousins. Our eyelids were droopy, so we ducked out for fresh air. Then came in to watch the crowd lining Times Square. One more hour, said Dad, till the new year is here. Put on your hats, said Mom. Let's practice our cheer. Counting down from ten without a single mistake. We tooted horns and popped poppers. I was now wide awake. My brother chased our puppy all through the house. And Mom and Dad noticed it was quiet as a mouse. There was no sound of barking, no little boy chatter. So we sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. When what to our wondering eyes should appear, but two party poopers. Make that three now, oh dear. While our puppy curled up on my father's lap, my brother and I went upstairs for a five-minute nap.
we both soon were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of fireworks danced in our heads. The next thing I knew, it was sunny and bright. Rats, we missed ringing in the new year last night. But that's when I came up with my resolution, I believe. I absolutely will stay up for next New Year's Eve. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story, The Night Before New Year's. Grandma loves New Year's Eve night. I always remember staying up with my grandmom and my granddad and watching the ball drop in Times Square. That is so much fun. Now, grandma doesn't always stay up now because it is very difficult to keep my eyes open that late, but we'll see if it happens this year. Now, grandma wants to know, do you have a New Year's resolution? Grandma's resolution is I am going to read more stories and do more videos for you this year. So click that thumbs up button and let Grandma know that you want me to. And click the subscribe button so you make sure you don't miss any books or any of Grandma's videos. Now you have a happy new year. And make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.